Hey kids, and welcome to the newest episode of Stylus Rumble Harmony Guide Rigging stuff. Today's episode is going to be a bits and bites episode, a couple new modules. Uh, I started rigging up some arms, and I realized that I spent a lot of time explaining some of these modules, so I figured I'd make a little episode first, and you could kind of get to see what they do. And then once we do arms, it, nothing will be like, oh my god, what's that? So the first one we're going to deal with is the mat resize. You can search for it up here in your node library slash module library, depending on your version of Harmony. And we're going to use ball B for this. No, let's use ball A. I'm going to plug in my mat resize, and we're going going to render our scene it's using our render flower. So I'm going to type in the number 10, boop, and it's expanded the edges of our circle. So 0, boop, 10, boop. You can also negative 10, boop, and it squeezes it in and shrinks it down. It's worked a little bit strangely with our line art, and I'll show you here. Our unrendered view, you can't see it at all. That's why I had to do it in the render view. But this is a stroked line using one of our line tools. You have the pencil tool. You have your line, ellipse, polyline, all these things. Boop. These guys have strokes inside. And then you can adjust your line width to make different shapes using sort of the fill. And that's why this this is having a little bit of confusion because this is, you can see you can scale this in and out and scale this in and out. So it's not actually a solid block of color. If I remove this, now I have just the colored interior part. And if I show my strokes, you can see that this has just an outline stroke and the color is filling inside of our, our stroke. So be aware if you're using this sort of align art or if you're using your brush tool or your fill tool, you're going to get this outlined color fill. There's lots of stuff on your drawing tools on the Toon Boom website if you want to go check more of that out. Just know that some of these things are going to work a little differently with your modules. So here our mat resize. If we shrink it down now, it seems to be figuring itself out. And if we remove it entirely, the color art has a little bit of an easier time shrinking down. Just like in Photoshop, uh, you might lose your circleiness. You can see our circle's getting a little bit pointy on the corners here. We can shrink it down to nothing, or we can grow it very large. It extends that much. In older versions of Harmony, the mat resize used to have a bit of a strange issue. When you scaled it down like this, you'd get a stagger. So instead of scaling at a reasonable pace like this, you'd get something more like this. So it'd say kind of small and then go up and then small and then go up. And it's because it didn't have a lot of significant digits in here. So you could have one and then it go up to 1.5 and then it go up to two and then it go up to 2.5, but it would step in between. And that's why you get this weird scaling issue. But the newer version of Harmony actually seems to have remedied the situation and it will scale nicely. So that's really super good if we need to use that. The next thing we're going to look at is using our layer selectors. And I have mine saved down here, but you can get them from your node library if you need different kinds of layer selectors. Here are my favorite. I have layer selector. You could also use overlay, line, stuff like that. Right now my artwork is on my line layer. So I'm going to put a line layer here so it's only showing that. But then I'm going to add an overlay layer here separately. And in my, I'm going to show my strokes. And what I'm going to do is just draw a little shape like this, go into my color, and I'm going to create a new color that is like a green screen color. And I'm going to fill that like this, cut it, and then paste it on my overlay layer. Now if I show both, you can see because we're using a stroked line, the color actually goes in here to meet that stroke. And that may or may not be what we want. For now, we'll just keep it that way, because just display purposes. And I'm going to grab a cutter and plug it into my other ball, my ball B. And then I'm going to unplug my overlay and plug it in to that cutter. Okay. And what this does is we have an invisible cutter on the overlay layer, but when we animate our ball, it's used to cut ball B. Doopy doop. This is going to be useful, of course, when we want something to animate like this, and we want it to cut something outside of its space, but we don't want that to be a visible thing. So just for an example, if you had a stick down this way and you had a second stick and you wanted to animate this stick up here, but have this part cut, you could add an invisible blob here that would cut this object while still allowing this part over here to be, remain visible. So we'll explore different ways we can use that as we go along. I just want to introduce the idea. And 
Now the last thing I want to talk about is the auto patch, this little strong armed guy. The way the auto patch works is by taking the color art. So here I'm going to set up my drawing so that it works with this auto patch. I'm going to take my color art, the fill, this A and the circle and cut it. And I'm going to put it on the color art layer. So my line art layers, the stroke and my color arts, the fill. Our fill extends beyond this perimeter. So even if we pull our radius in like this, our color art still extends all the way to this edge, even though we have a super thick line. So I'm going to pull that back up there. So what the auto patch is going to do is take this color art and cut it along this seam here. So instead of continuing out to the edge, it will end here exactly. This can be recreated. I'll show you what this looks like in long form. So you have your line and your color, and this would just use the line art as a cutter for the color. So this is the, the long form way to do it with these three modules. The other way to do it is to remove those there and have an auto patch like that, cutting your line art. And now we can use that as a cutter for our ball, and we can have our regular full strength ball here. We'll put it behind so you can see, and now, the white part is going to cut the B, and if I unplug it, you can see it's actually cutting it. It's not just overlaying it, but it's cutting it at the edge of this seam here, not going out to the stroke. If we remove it, then you can see it's going to cut all the way to the edge of the line. And if we use a color art layer selector, you can see it's going to cut to the stroke. So that's what this auto patch does. Bloop. It's going to cut it to the seam. The color layer is going to cut it to the stroke seam, and then just full strength is going to cut with the whole thing. Okay, so hopefully those three guys make sense. We're going to use those a lot in our upcoming ARM videos, show you different ways to play around with them and get the ideas of what you can do with that stuff. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Like, subscribe, all those things internet people ask you to do. Thanks for dropping by, and I'll see you in the next video.